In this video, we're going to demonstrate the calculator on the TI-84 Plus CE for the inverse normal distribution. So here, we, I am using a TI-84 Plus CE. This is the most current calculator, and it will, it's a little more robust than the other TI-84 models. For the other models, the silver editions, feel free to watch the next video that demonstrates the silver edition for this particular topic of the inverse normal distribution. Normal inverse normal distribution just means that we are given an area, whether it be to the left or to the right or in between, and we want to find these values on the x-axis. We would like to find values that correspond to area on the left or the right or in between. So we can see here from this picture, we do not know this point on this x-axis that corresponds to this endpoint of the shading. But we're going to find that by using the function in the calculator called invnorm. If we go to vars and see in blue the dist, which means distribution, hit blue with blue, second vars, and you get this nice little distribution menu. If we see number three, it says invnorm, which just means in real life inverse normal distribution. This is the abbreviated version for the calculator. We will be using this to solve these problems on the left. So let's go ahead and look at an example. A manufacturer produces items with a normally distributed lifespan, a mean of 8.2 years, and a standard deviation of 1.3 years. The 1% of items with the shortest lifespan will last less than how many years? Here, notice that the word less than means area to the left, and the only way to get 1% with area to the left would be the left tail. So we want to find the value or the number of years that correspond to the smallest 1%. If we go ahead and go to our calculator and select 3 for invnorm, we are given a series of parameters to enter. The first one is the area. So go ahead and enter the area of the percent, which is 0 0.01. The mean they gave us is 8.2, and the standard deviation is 1.3. This area, we have to pick where the tail lies. Does it lie on the left, right, or center? And so here we can see this is the left tail, and I'll hit enter and hit paste. And again, this menu is for the TI-84 Plus CE. If you do not see this tail line with left, center, right, that means you're using a different calculator and should watch the next video to see how to address the, this problem with the silver editions. Continuing, let's go ahead and hit paste. We see this on the home screen and hit enter. So the lifespan would be 5.2 years, rounding to one decimal place. The next problem asks for the 5% of the um, items that will last more than how many years? So the more will be area to the right. So we need to get 5% and that's going to be area to the right. So that has to be the right tail. Once again, I know if it's 5%, it has to be in the tails because anything else would be greater than. If I shade it past the mean, then it would be greater than. So having 5% with being right tailed has to be this little right tail. But I can't see from the picture of how many years that would be. So let's go ahead and use the invnorm feature in our calculator. Hit second bars, at number three for invnorm. And now let me change this percent to 5%. The mean and standard deviation stay the same, but now I'm going to go ahead and move the cursor to the right and select right. And go ahead and hit paste. And I get 10.3, and that looks about right with my picture. 
Now, the last one says the middle 75% of items between how many years? So we are looking for this middle 75%. We could see that it's somewhere a little bit to the left of 6.9 years and a little bit to the right of 9.5 years. So um, in order to do the middle 75%, I can go ahead again and use the inv um, norm option in my calculator. And the area here I'm going to put as 75 percent or 0.75 mean and standard deviation stay the same and now I can select center and I just want to reiterate if you do not see this line that says tail left center right then you need to move on to the next video in which shows the TI-84 silver edition where it does not have this line this is solely for the TI-84 plus CE model Center, and then notice it gives us a set of two numbers. It gives us a set of 6.7 rounded to one decimal place and 9.7 years. And this is demonstrating using the InvNorm function in the TI-84 plus CE calculator.